friends, I'm Funky Monkey. Welcome to my house of love! Now, the Street Fighter video game series has a funny old chronology. Beginning in 1987, with a disposable game featuring variable resistance pads, through the justly famous arcade triumph that is Street Fighter 2 and its myriad revisions, continuing up to the present day with Street Fighter 4, with a fifth instalment announced for 2016. Now what's funny about the chronology is that Street Fighter 4 is actually set between Street Fighter 2 and Street Fighter 3. And before releasing Street Fighter 3, Capcom actually made three whole prequel games that were set before Street Fighter 1. Which brings us to today's topic, the animated movie based on that series, Street Fighter Alpha. Released in 1999 and localised in 2000, Street Fighter Alpha is the tale of Ryu's struggle with the darker side of his and Ken's fighting style. Add in themes of family, the obligatory Shadow Law subplot, and a mysterious mystic, and you've got another anime adventure in the street fighting world. But can this plucky young challenger go the distance, or is it a first round knockout? There's only one way to find out, so strap on your fist pads and put up your dukes once more, because this is Street Fighter Alpha, the animated movie. Ryu's been having some nightmares lately. What is this evil key? Oh, evil keys, man. The stories I could tell. Don't even get me started on- Oh, 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 evil key. Chi-like, like, fighting spirit, life force in the right. Yeah, yeah, of course. The last thing he needs is an unwelcome intervention. The intervention is cut short, though, when Ken arrives. Ryu! <laughs> but when Ken goes to fetch water for the flowers, the Dark Surge rises! Uh, not again. It's like all now, the Dark Surge, or Dark Hado, from the Japanese Satsui no Hado, or Surge of Murderous Intent. You see, Ansatsuki Shotokan, Ryu's fighting style, was originally a deadly martial art. It is the more traditional deadly version of Ansatsuken that is Akuma's fighting style. Because of this, Akuma has been overcome with darkness. But is he evil? And we meet this little chap, who claims to be Ryu's long lost little brother. Cue an amusing montage of Shun ingratiating himself into Ryu and Ken's schedule. Yeah, I think we figured out by now that Shun isn't actually Ryu's little brother. But, you know, Shadow Law and all. Yeah, Shadow Law are involved in all this. Just can't get away from those guys, can ya? But Ryu is tortured by his dark surge. Ryu makes a grim request of his friend. Kill me. The plot actually starts moving when an underground tournament is announced. Oh yeah, a big one! I can't... And while Ken tries to scout the location, a gang of chancers try their luck. But Ryu is not impressed at Shun's bloodlust. Shun! Huh? Ooh! Well that's one way to stop a fight, I suppose. But... Ken finds his own action when another gang of chancers fancy a piece of cherry blossom pie. And really? That's the worst part about these fighting tournaments. Sometimes the most difficult part is getting to the tournament proper in one piece. At the tournament, Shun faces Zangief. Which ends about as well as you'd expect. With Ryu stepping in to save the day. Which summons the Dark Surge in both Ryu and Shun. He possesses such power. It must be that ability. I want it. This is Dr. Sadler. Shadow Law's stooge for this movie. His goal is to build the ultimate fighter. But when Shun goes down, the Dark Surge consumes our hero. 
and a powerful surge fist consumes his opponent. But shock! Shun's alive! Which becomes somewhat moot when he's snatched away by unnamed forces. Chun-Li takes Ryu in for questioning, but our hero isn't in talkative mood. Until the fates intervene. If I go on fighting, I'll just be consumed by the dark dough. But before Ryu resigns himself to his fate, he takes a side trip to visit Akuma. Ugh. Now there's a face only a mother could love. And when Ken enters the picture, the two battle without honour or humanity. That's it, lads. Get it out of your system. Remember that you've still got to go and rescue Shun yet. We shift our scene to Dr. Sadler's desert base, where he's been experimenting on fighters. And on Shun, Ryu finally joins the battle. And the Dark Surge consumes our hero once more. And worse, Dr. Sadler now has all he needs to reproduce its power. But Rose has one last intervention for our hero. Now, I'm going to be a little bit pedantic here, because the death card in Tarot actually represents change, and can be quite beneficial. If they're suggesting that Ryu is suicidal here, they are dead wrong. I used to know a bunch of people who were into Tarot. Nice folks. And Ryu finds the power of the Shinku Hadoken. But it's too late to save Shun. And so, as the credits roll, we see our heroes return to their lives. So that was Street Fighter Alpha, the animated movie. But I really can't put this one into my house of love. This movie is not the bone-crunching, all-action, empty-headed spectacle of the Street Fighter 2 anime movie. It is a lot slower, the plot taking a good 20 minutes or so to get moving, and then grinds to a halt almost every time a fight breaks out, and there are a lot of fights. But more than this, the world outside the main character seems to be populated by the dregs of humanity, and let's not even get started on the amount of creep shots in this anime. A goodly proportion of Chun-Li featuring shots either focus on her crotch or her backside. And as to the plot itself, well it's not terrible. Not as thin as some, even if it's 90% cod philosophical waffle that I used to think was deep. There were too many throwaway characters, which only served to pad the runtime. And when a movie weighs in at only 90 minutes to start with, that's a bad sign. On the plus side, the dub is good the English VAs doing their best with the material, and actually sounding interested. And the animation is decent, with no glaring errors to my eyes. Overall though, this anime has a nasty, violent edge. Like The Dark Surge in that respect, it's not a bad movie, but it's certainly not the kind of thing I enjoy anymore. I've been Funky Monkey, wishing you better days, better anime, and the strength to fight the darkness. And Thunder Horse, wherever you may be, I will never stop down the dark path. <laughs>
join the heroic legion of Patreon subscribers today. You could get your name in the credits, early access to new episodes, request your favourite game, movie or anime to be reviewed, or even be in the show yourself. Sign up at my Patreon site. I'll see you there.